Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the public defense of Mary Rutenga's PhD dissertation at the International Institute of Social Studies of Erasmus University, Rotterdam. May I ask you all to switch your mobile phones to silent mode, please? I declare the meeting open. I bid you, Mary Mohamed Rutenge, most heartily welcome. Thank you may you. now give a brief exposition of your research, of your reasons for having undertaken it, and of the results it has yielded. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Rector Magnificus, member of the plenary committee, staff, colleagues, and friends. I am pleased to present to you my research on gold mining, multinationals, and community interaction in Tanzania. I was interested with this topic because, first of all, I'm from Tanzania, and I've been aware of the conflict interaction between gold mining companies and communities where they operate. And the reports were on conflict on, over land, <coughs> environmental pollution, as picture shows, violence, and social spending, which is a positive thing. Going through literature, I came to learn that scholars have had debate on how communities and companies can interact to resolve these kind of problems. One group of this debate is those who are proposing for voluntary corporate social responsibility. And I argue that this is not very effective because it's a top-down approach. It is a company-centered, which does not involve community, or the involvement is very minimal. So I'm following proposal by scholars like Kemp and others who proposes that a studying mining companies' social responsibilities, one has to focus on communities and move away from seeing them as passive recipients of the, uh, economic development and their negative externalities, of course. So from there, I thought that I, I should take a more intera interactive approach on studying these kind of conflicts, borrowing from accountability literature and stakeholder theories. So I introduced a localized social accountability framework that I used. And by definition, localized social accountability is interaction or relationship between a company and community, whereby a company is compelled to explain and justify its action to the community and the community can pose questions and debate and arrive to a judgment which can amount to consequences in terms of sanctions or compensation. This ap approach is more interactive than voluntary CSR, corporate social responsibility, and is, it is in relation in the sense that in order, one of the most important elements of this approach is that there should be legitimacy and credibility of the claims of these communities. So this PhD research answered, answered four questions. Questions on land, environmental pollution, violence, and social spending. In chapter four, because I arranged this in thematic chapters four up to chapter seven, in chapter four, I responded to a question on how and to what extent were communities around gold mines in Tanzania unsuccessful in extracting localized social accountability regarding land grievances. And on chapter five, I asked the same question, similar question on environmental pollution. In chapter six, I responded to research question on how and to what extent were communities around gold mines in Tanzania able to use force to demand a company's response to their claims regarding the impact of their externalities, that is unfair land transfers and environmental pollution. Whereas in chapter seven, I responded to the question how and to what extent will the social spending of gold mining companies used as a response 
communities claims enhance compensation for, comp for companies' externalities, and what was the role of communities in this. The formulation and sequence of these questions and chapters were informed and refined by initial re field report. In the methodology, I used qualitative approach with three cases of Gaeta Gold Mine, North Mara Gold Mine, and the Bulianhul Gold Mine. The cases were chosen because of the longevity of the operations, so they were thought that they would give rich information on this interaction. I conducted individual interviews and focus group discussions. I used documentary reviewers as well as specifically corporate social responsibility reports of these companies. Participants in this research included communities and officials from companies, NGOs, local and international, but who were operating locally, and the state. In analysis, of course, I used localized social accountability model. On the first theme of land, most claims were on non-compensation, under-compensation, and delays in compensation. But unfortunately, these communities were not successful in extracting localized social accountability. Major reason being the ownership of land. In Tanzania, the state is the owner of land. Citizens are land occupiers, including communities. Due to that, there were no transactions whatsoever between communities and the, state and the companies. So when they confronted the companies on non-compensation, under-compensation, or delays, they were confronting a wrong person. And these problems were intensified by the fact that some public officials who were unfaithful squandered the money that was meant for payment. So the company sometimes pays, but the money ends in the pockets of these, some of these public officials who are not trustworthy. It's the case like the one which you are seeing on the picture where 86 uh, families were displaced from their land when they were forcibly evicted in 2007 and up until now they are still living in tents. But the company paid and the money was squandered and their effort to go to the court proved that this money was squandered and the state was to pay but up to now it didn't pay, didn't compensate this community and because of pressure uh, that the, company, the company's image was tainted, the company decided to take responsibility, although it was not liable for that. So the mode of payment also was a problem because they have to pay in cash instead of in kind, which was the flexibility that was allowed by the law. But another thing is the infrastructure. Mining companies are structured such that there are big companies, large companies, and small companies, which are called juniors. Juniors are the ones who are in most cases the first investors on community land. And when they enter into these communities, they are the ones who breed most of these conflicts because the conflicts are during inception. And knowing that they won't stay there for the long before selling their claims to the land rights to the land claims to the community, to their companies, they in most cases multi practices. And again, when the community faces the company, the company can easily refute their claims that they are not the ones who bred those kind of conflicts. On environmental pollution, the story is a bit different. Here, the only problem is that for environmental claims to be credible, there should be scientific evidence. And unfortunately, it's the community that was required to produce the same, and it had no capacity to do so. So in the end, it was the company that produced those reports that they commissioned. And these reports, in many cases, if not all cases, um, cleaned the company over those kind of claims. There, are, there is a state regulatory body, but it is ineffective, and it is not also trusted by the community because they are arguing that they are corrupt. They are accusing them of being corrupt. So in the end, as we have seen in the case of land, environmental pollution also, the community could not extract localized social accountability. Having no option, this community turns into violence. 
as a strategy to extract this localization accountability. But this is not an easy task because the state is there to protect the companies through police. Most communities are not organized enough to use violence with persistence, which is very important. Persistence and intensity. So in the end, they were not successful using violence except to only one community that was really a difficult one, quote unquote. In most cases, social spending remained voluntary. Only one company treated social spending as an obligation due to violence pressure from more <coughs> organized communities. This is despite the fact that when you look at these social spendings, you can easily link with uh, companies' negative external externalities, like this big water project, which I took a picture in Gaeta. This company has polluted air to the extent that uh, this community could not harvest rainwater, which they depended for their domestic use. But still, this company went ahead implementing this project for many years using voluntary approach. And because of that, they decided on when, what, where, and how much to spend on this kind of projects. It's only one community that I said, which was a bit difficult to the company, that succeeded in writing agreements with company called village benefit agreements, village benefits and impact, impact agreements, whereby the company promised that it's going to engage in social services as something which is binding. And in those kind of agreement, which is signed by the company and the community, uh, the community had possibility of going to court in case the company did not fulfill its promises. That is North Mara community. To conclude, community's active role is important if companies are to behave in a social responsible way. This entails creating an environment that will enable these communities to practice their agency. Other relatively powerful actors can achieve this, namely the state, home and host, corporate parents, NGOs and investors, to mention but just a few. This is because community cannot rely on violence driven localized social accountability. And I'm, com I'm winding up with the picture that was taken by York, not uh, uh, relatively recently because it's 2013, which shows one community which I can say difficult borrowing from Trebek, where these are illegal miners confronting police and mine guards. They are not afraid, as you can see, some of them are sitting, showing that this is their everyday life. Thank you so much. Thank you.